map scales and converting. You can tell from this that I really like drawing maps. Map scales can be given as a simple conversion scale, like this one here. One centimeter on the map is 300 kilometers in real life. Or they can be given as a ratio scale, like these two. The ratio of 1 to 10,000 means that one of any unit on the map is the same as 10,000 of those units in real life. If I measured in centimeters on the map, one centimeter on the map, 10,000 centimeters in real life. If I measured in inches on the map, two inches on the map, 20,000 inches in real life. And here, 80 million, one centimeter on the map, 80 million centimeters in real life. Comparing these two numbers, you can see that the treasure island I've drawn is really quite small. I don't need a very large scale to draw it, whereas my drawing of Australia, the very large number to the right of the ratio tells you that I've had to fit a very large image into my map. We'll talk about that in a minute. Sometimes we want to convert a map scale from a ratio to a simple conversion or vice versa. So our first question, let's convert this ratio to map ratio, sorry, this conversion scale to a map ratio scale. Now the way we do that is we need to get both of these to the same unit. So one centimeter stays the same, 300 kilometers, well, 300 kilometers, a thousand meters in a kilometer, so times by a thousand to get to meters. I want to centimeters, meters to centimeters, that's a hundred times by another hundred. Well, that's in centimeters. Once I've got it to centimeters, I'm allowed to just remove those. Make sure I have the right number of zeros. It's very easy to get stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Be careful. And I have a scale as a ratio of one to 30 million, which says that's not quite as big a scale as this one of Australia. So one centimeter on this map doesn't represent quite the same massive size as one centimeter on this map, but definitely much bigger than one centimeter on this map. We can convert back from ratio to a simple conversion scale, and sometimes that's going to be the easiest way to solve some problems. Look, I've got an extra zero here as well. Convert this one to a simple conversion scale. Well, put in a unit. Let's say we're in centimeters again. Sometimes they'll tell you. One centimeter on the map helps, by the way, if we say map to real life, just to keep ourselves focused. One centimeter on the map is 10,000 centimeters in real life. Now, that is a simple conversion scale. But if I asked you how far something was, and you said 20,000 centimeters, I think you were being very silly. Convert that measurement to something a little bit more reasonable. Centimeters to meters is divide by 100. One centimeter on the map equals 100 meters in real life. And now you see that this scale on this map is mapping a much smaller area. This is only what, four centimeters across? My whole island is only 400 meters. It's tiny. Whereas Australia, we could work out this if we wanted, and we'd discover that one centimeter was probably about 800 kilometers, a much larger area being mapped in the same amount of space. Now, they might ask me when I've got map distance, sorry, a map ratio or scale, to work out the distance in real life. So 
So my first question here, it's five centimeters on the map from Hobbiton to the Lonely Mountain. We can tell we're using map one here. How far did Bilbo walk? Just going there, but not back again. So this is a simple multiplication. If one centimeter on the map is 300 kilometers, then five centimeters on the map, map to real life, is five lots of 300. So Bilbo walked about 1,500 kilometers, which is, in fact, about the distance from Hobbiton to the Lonely Mountain. When they've given us a ratio, it can be a little bit trickier. It's three centimeters on the map from the rock to the treasure. This is the second map. How far is it? Remind yourself that it's always map to real life. Write the ratio, one to 10,000. Put the number that they gave us on the correct side. Was this map or real life? It was map. What did we do to, and, and this is going to be our unknown. What did we do to one to get to three? What did we multiply it by? Times three. Just multiply by three on the other side as well. And our distance is going to be 30,000. We were in centimeters, remember? Change that to something more bearable. Divide by 100, 300 meters from the rock to the treasure in that map. If you prefer, if you don't like the ratios and you think this method is much easier, remember we can always convert our ratio to a simple conversion scale and then you can just multiply. You may find that easier.